Hey folks, welcome back to another video. You join me by the seaside. Um, a drizzly seaside, a slightly cloudy and inclement seaside next to a fairly iconic route. If you don't know this route, Dreamer White Horses. A little bit of trepidation in my voice, you might detect. It's my second trad route of the year and the, the first one was a day or two ago, an easy slate route. So jumping on to um, a slightly damp HVS, it's quite exciting really. Climbing should be like fairly straightforward. I've done the route a lot of times, but I don't think I've ever done it when it's been quite so wet. And the point of the video is one, to do a really cool route and two, to do a little review of some new shoes I've got, Evolve Nighthawks. And I've worn for one route, like comfy pair of shoes, like all day uh, trad kind of shoe. Feel really good so far, but we'll soon find out after wearing them for an hour or two. Um, yeah, so you'll join me in a minute, sort of gearing up and stuff, and then we'll just crack on and, and have in and uh, see if we can scrabble our way up some wet rock. Typical Welsh weather, I suppose, is the way it goes. Got to take what you can. Made it onto the high start uh, belay ledge. It's actually, it's not looking too wet. You know, semi wet, but not as wet as it could be. The last pitch, which is often wet, is still wet, but it's not as wet as that could be either. So I'm quite hopeful that might be um, not as bad as at first thought. What is as bad as we first thought is this is uh, Mike's first trad route since like November. It's only my second trad route. So trying to remember what to do and build belays and hang nice rucksacks off the belay and stuff and flake ropes on little ledges is a bit of a learning curve. Um, keep seeing things written about skill fade. Yeah, it's probably a real thing, isn't it? Mike's about to set off on the first pitch, um, which is probably the wettest pitch, I think. So he's taking one for the team there. We've also got um, a fella called Sam up there. We can uh, say hello to Sam, he's waving there. Uh, he's doing some extra filming for us. So there's a drone above me. I'm trying very hard not to drop this camera today. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some cool other shots. As I said, the point of this video is all about these rock shoes, which are there. Comfy so far, I'm gonna be dangling around a bit on this route because it's kind of semi hanging belay. So it should be a good test of them, but I will report back in due course. Mike's just um, just finishing up building the belay. Quality pitch that uh, just like traverses along these amazing little flakes. Well, not really positive flakes. Obviously a bit trickier in the damp, but it's not too bad actually. And thankfully a few grades and look at it. What an amazing spot though. Uh, looking out over the zone, kind of coming close to the archway thing. Often you see kayakers and stuff here, but um, it's one of those days. It's probably a bit grey for all that kind of stuff today. So. Um, 
unsurprisingly we've got the crag to ourselves we can get pretty busy here uh, during you know, better weather and in the summer and obviously covid and stuff as well normally it would start from further down there uh, but because of the wet rock and stuff we've gone for the cheeky high tide start uh, just felt like it's a sensible thing to do today um, he's safe so I'm going to take him off belay get climbing uh, and get these uh, the shoes in action they're a comfy hanging around here which is uh, as part of the test isn't it definitely it's a bit chilly today so I feel I could um, they're the kind of shoe that you could happily wear a, a thin sock with I'll talk about the sizing and stuff once I've finished and up at the top and everything but they're that kind of comfy shoe and my toes are thinking socks could have been a good idea today First pitch done. That was quite an introduction to a reintroduction to trad. My fingers are freezing. It was pretty damp and it like sucks the heat out of your fingers on a fairly chilly day. Got to the belay uh, first pitch, nice standard thing, big sling, couple of nuts all joined together. Um, shoes are doing well. Uh, so they're a size big, that's Mike's foot in there as well. Good old Anasazi uh, Browns, the classic. Uh, but these feel really stiff, but kind of in a good way. They're kind of, uh, they're fitted well to me actually. Again, I'll talk about this later. But coming across there when you can't feel your fingers so much, it's nice to trust your feet. And it takes a while to, for that to sort of build up in a rock shoe. But the nice thing is, because they're stiff, you kind of put them on the edges and there's, there's loads of nice edges on that. And you're kind of really supportive, so that's a good thing. And dangling around the belay, they're as comfy as I would expect them to be. So, so far, so good. Next pitch follows these juggy flakes up there. It's like, it's awesome up, 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 and then it has a little down climb really cool bit of climbing i think it's getting mistier if anything so i'll try and get a bit of a wriggle on up there loads of big gear plug it in and just keep on going really it's good fun Just on the GoPro for this bit, uh, I know the sound and photo quality will be rubbish, but uh, it's worth a little chat while I'm here. Just placed a nice big gold can that's made me feel happy. Uh, the rest of the pitch just goes up this crack and then drops down a little bit into about there. Uh, amazing bit of climbing so far. Uh, following, hang on, I've dropped a dog poop bag. Hang about, collect that. Uh, yeah, follows um, down the ropes through those flakes. Really cool. I mean, just look at the position though, it's flipping crazy, isn't it? so misty and atmospheric and everything. Uh, I'm loving it. If there's one thing that doesn't prepare you for trail climbing in the damp, that's three months in Spain. This just feels so alien, but it's so much fun.
Ah, oh, such a good pitch, that one. It's actually my favourite pitch. The last pitch, which I'll show you in a sec around there. Oh, I'll show you now. It's, it's the best position. Goes like up through here and drops down a bit and exits up there. It's flipping amazing. And you're above all of that. It's so cool. There's an archway through there. So that's where the kayakers go. Uh, but I just really love the climbing on that first bit. Actually, it's all really a good route. Um, I, so Mike's doing the next pitch. Um, he hasn't actually led that one before, so it's about time he did it because it it's a bit of an omission from the log. But just to show you what's going on here, um, three nuts, duh, 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 and then a rather manky old peg, but it seemed a shame not to clip it. Brought to like a power point up there, master point, but then also clipped in. It matches up with the length of the, the sling on that um, peg. Use the carabiner as the master point, so I clove it straight in. Uh, I um, guide mode be laid off that. I even set up the crab ready for Mike and clove him up into that as he came onto the ledge. Um, just to give you an idea, they're good enough gear, but you know they're none of them are like super inspiring as such. So I just put loads in to make sure it's all good. Um, nice commodious uh, belay ledge, feet on a nice good ledge, which is always nice when you're doing these semi-hanging belays. Uh, shoes comfy still, um, yeah, and they're sort of just softening up a little bit, getting a bit more feel out of them, but definitely on the stiff side. But today, actually, on this route, I, I've been quite happy of that. Uh, the last pitch, it's just so good, big jugs. It was a bit wet in places, but you just think about it a bit and it, it's just fine. Um, as I said on that little GoPro thing, three months in Spain is not good prep for climbing wet sea cliff rock. You join me on the last pitch, it's just so flipping good. You can see uh, all the space beneath your feet climbing up over that arch. You just go through some really cool terrain and stuff as well up through there. Looking back across the whole route. Over to the last bit, just nips around the corner because see the drone again. Um, it's just a, such a flipping cool spot. It's like you can't climb this without smiling. It's flipping amazing. There you go. I hope you enjoyed some footage of that uh, that route. It's just so much fun. Uh, hopefully, I was probably smiling in most of it. Um, there's so much footage. It's going to take me ages to edit this one and, and cut out stuff. But basically, lots of grinning, lots of laughing, lots of trying to remember how to climb trad. I've spent the last three months, as you probably know, climbing in Spain, uh, single pitch sport stuff, 
uh, in nice sunny weather certainly no wet rock if there any chance of wet rock we just wouldn't have done the route and today I'd say over 50% of that was wet some of it extra wet um, but it was really good fun it was a good laugh and I'm, I'm happy to have had a few grades in hand because that would feel pretty cheeky otherwise but uh, yeah it was good um, just uh, uh, you know the main point of that video was one the route but two the shoes as well so it was kind of uh, a review or initial impressions of these Evolve Nighthawks. Now there is um, a women's version as well. I'll flash it up because I forget the name of it. It's just, it's billed as a dead comfy shoe. And that's exactly what it's been. It's on the stiff side, uh, which is often the way. It's nice thick rubber with these uh, kind of comfy shoes. So there's loads of support. So when you put it on an edge, it just stays on the edge. The thing that's impressed me about them is not that and the comfort, because I kind of just assumed that they would be that way anyway, but it's the stickiness of them. Um, they're not properly worn in yet, and now they're covered in sand and rubbish as well. Um, but actually you're pasting them on some of the dryer holds, that is, but pasting them on some of those holds, uh, you can just feel it's quite tacky rubber actually, so I'm really impressed with that. I'd certainly climb a bit harder in them, harder routes, definitely I'd try them. I'd say comfy, probably on the sort of wider side. Uh, I wear a size 12 street shoe. These are, um, I think they are 12 UK, 11 and a half UK, so 46 and a half this one's going at. And at that, I've kind of, they're snug. Um, and I, I tighten them up quite a lot because as I say they're a bit wide but they fit me quite nicely in a relaxed way. So although my toes are just slightly bent at the end of it, uh, they're pretty mellow and if you want to wiggle your toes I, I can in them but like I said I'd happily climb a bit harder I've been dead impressed and um, 55 quid from outside at the moment which is an absolute bargain I, I'd happily wear these on all sorts of this kind of uh, fairly mellow trad I think probably maybe up to that E1-ish kind of stuff and then beyond I'd probably pick something else personally but like super impressed and especially for that price there's a few other bits I'm not going to rant on about uh, now, but uh, you can see some of the kit that Mike placed on that last one. It's nice to lace a traverse because it's as tricky for your second, uh, you know, uh, psychologically as it is to lead sometimes, especially in the wet. So he placed lots of kit, extended it loads, which hopefully you saw, and that's a no gear fell out because that would have been embarrassing for him. So thankfully it didn't. Uh, and that's great. So lo loads of gear, medium sized stuff um, to big on that route generally. Uh, just take a normal rack though. What I'll do is I'm going to list loads of uh, equipment uh, that I took on the route, including kind of probably the rack stuff. I'll put that in the kind of description below. But yeah, this blue ice harness, I'm not going to do a review on this uh, yet. It's called an Adax Dead Light, 150 grams. I thought it was going to be pretty uncomfortable, but actually hanging around on those belays, um, so far so good. But and that's the first time I've worn it, so I won't do a review or anything yet. And the other thing, as you know, is supported by um, Beyond Hope, which is Ace, so this blue ice stuff uh, has come from them. This is the Dragonfly 25 uh, litre Deadlight, for, uh, 400 grams or something like that. Uh, it was great for carrying a few bits on that route. Um, hopefully it's been an interesting video, a bit of a different one for me. Massive thanks to uh, Sam from Wild Valley Productions, who is just sat over there uh, he's gonna have to be on camera as well uh, so massive thanks to him for all the drone stuff and other shots that will be in there uh, like I say I've got a lot of editing to do if you've got questions yeah just fire away with them chuck them in the comments below happy to answer as best I can same things I say every time click the like button smash the subscribe button massive thanks for all the support and the buy me a coffee and all those things that I say every time super helpful fire us on Insta there's probably some shots of this on Insta coming up soon as well uh, and Facebook and all that jazz once again, thanks very much for watching. More videos coming up very soon.